Good evening and salam ibu pertiwiku. This is the state news on TV Sarawak. The Gabungan Parti Sarawak Coalition will develop Sarawak using its own mold. The Chief Minister said GPS was working to develop Sarawak to meet the needs of young people and make Sarawak a high-income state by 2030. He said GPS would not be 100% dependent on federal policies but would have an approach that is in line with Sarawakians' wishes and through several policies, namely modern agriculture, tourism sector, infrastructure and education under the 12th Malaysia Plan. He was speaking at the Anak Sarawak dinner at the Malaysian Exhibition and Trade Center in Kuala Lumpur last night. The Sarawak budget presentation, which is expected to take place at the State Legislative Assembly this November, will be of utmost importance to the people of Sarawak. Assistant Minister for Infrastructure and Ports Development Sarawak, Dato Julahi Narawi, said he expected the budget would take into account the needs and interests of the people of Sarawak. 21 lagi uh, package akan dilaksanakan secara berperingkat-peringkat. Berperingkat-peringkat kerana reka bentuk yang dijalankan oleh pihak kami JKR bersama-sama dengan konsultan masih dijalankan. Ada yang uh, sedang dijalankan, ada yang hampir siap, ada yang sudah ready untuk ditender. Jadi maknanya kita lakukan secara berperingkat-peringkat dengan uh, hasrat untuk menjadikan laluan jalan pesisir ini selesa untuk digunakan oleh semua pemandu yang memilih untuk uh, menggunakan laluan jalan pesisir. He added this was because he understood the needs of the people such as those in rural areas. Dan ini juga uh, mendapat perhatian kita sebab ada daripada uh, uh, apa nama keperluan-keperluan ini memang uh, memerlukan uh, uh, bantuan daripada uh, kerajaan Sarawak. Jadi kita fahamlah tentang keperluan rakyat. So basically um, saya yakin bahawa it, it will be a good budget lah. Budget untuk uh, rakyat Sarawak yang kita amat fahami, yang kita amat uh, tahu akan keperluan mereka dari semasa ke semasa. He further said the matter was already under the attention of the Sarawak government that cares about rural development. Santubong MP Datuk Sri Wan Junaidi Tuanku Jafar claimed that the Pakaran Harapan Federal Government is sidelining the people's representatives in many of its programs. He explained he has been informed that the Federal Government is still giving out housing projects for the hardcore poor, or PPRT, but that he doesn't know whether the PPRT is being channeled directly to the State Development Office or the District Office. He said when he inquired about it to the district office, they said they have no answer and thus he doesn't know who to refer to in this matter. He said this after visiting fire victims at Kampung Jingkat in Jalan Bako in Kuching. He added this becomes a problem where the members of parliament and state assemblymen are not included in the discussion on matters involving the community's development. Well, that's all the news updates for now. Stay tuned for more. I'm Razi Ahmad. Thanks for watching.